Abachara bala bien, oh, bala bien, mamá bala bien. Yo, this is Jamal on Channel 8. You stick on, you stay on, that's the only thing you got to do. So Jamal, where have you been the last one year you guys? <laughs> It's not one year. You, you know, we, we know we we know you for like you know staying out of the public eye and all that. Yeah. But where have you been? I'm around. It's not all about like a yeah. It's about what the, what you bring to the people. You know. Like, yeah. I bring uh, my music when my music is moving. I don't really need to be in people's faces. Yeah, yeah. I mean, especially when there are no reason. You know. Yeah. That's the best thing I think. Uh, so when people get to see you, they want to see you, not like yeah. being a public figure without any work. So. All right. I intend to concentrate on what I do. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, f first of all, let's speak of uh, this social media because, like, way back then, well, well, when you guys were studying, like, you know, in the industry, there was no social media. Like, the DJ was dictating over the radio was dis dictating. But right now, like, an artist are in a platform uh, called uh, social media, where pushing and have a direct in contact with the consumer. What's up with the social media in Jamal world? No, it's a, it's a, it's one. What do you want to about Instagram? What, what, <laughs> you know? Those are that's, uh, th that's technology, by the way. But at the end of the day, it will come on to the music. Yeah. So, people, the artists of Facebook and all this stuff, it mm. will come to an end. At the end of the day, people will want to listen to what you do. Mm. Or you may have a lot of likes on what you feel on mm. to push yourself, but there are no actual senses that what. What, what are they playing, you know, what do, do you have, you know, mm. it's the most important thing, but otherwise, mm. it's part of the life, it's part of the changes that mm. comes in, you know, mm. some people are also try now to be part of it, to show themselves out, to be naked, mm. to be whatever they want to be, to have that, mm. just being honest, but the only thing is, uh, what do you have? Right, That's musically, <laughs> yeah, right. When people want to hear your music, they don't want to see your body. Yeah, That's the most they want the content. And that, that, those are part of the changes, so yeah. no worries about Instagram and Facebook and whatever. Yeah. Each time it will come. All right. Yeah. So what's up, uh, 2015, what's the, what are you dropping? Ah, uh, 2015, I have a couple of songs. I have a song called Chotarie, mm. so which means uh, that if you're not going to eat something, don't, don't stop it from someone taking it, mm. you know. Mm. So it's a good song, you should listen to it when it comes out. And, mm. uh, I have an unplugged uh, governor, 30th October this year. Mm. It's gonna be massive. Uh, come on, watch Jamal performs, you know. All right. Like, yeah, it's gonna be cool. It, does it have a video coming with it? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Oh, you it's don't want to spill? <laughs> that, that, it's pretty that much. I, I, now. I, 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 want, uh, I want to do stuff when uh, they come in the right time, you know. All right. But uh, the song is very lovely. Yeah, sure, tell you. Yeah. Tell, tell, talk to us about the creative. Uh, uh, what were you what were you going through when making the the, the title, the, so song the song itself? The song is uh, uh, it's, it talks about uh, when you actually have said that you committed yourself. You've told everybody that you have left some stuff. Yeah, it could have been relationship. It could have been in any way that when you give up and you've decided to let it go. Yeah, and at some point you don't allow other people to have it. Yeah, it's not really a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, so it goes a bit like this. Chotalie che sonyi wero a chotirondola. Ibin tu be we sonyi wa chiba chibi a to birokera. Nadalangen si akula bangola ira wano mutoli dira. Yo, it's gonna be a massive one. It's when does it drop? Out. Any chance you know when it's dropping? Ah? Huh? Uh, when does it drop? Uh, it's gonna be in October 30th, I think, after my concert, uh, my uh, Unplugged In Club uh, governor. governor. Okay. It's gonna and be the video out. as well is dropping that day? The video could probably be in November. I'm taking things slowly, but it's gonna Paula be. Paula and Paula, what's teach you about this time around? You need, you need a good time. You need, you need people to understand your work. Yeah. So somebody was like, uh, uh, the likes of uh, um, uh, Radio and Weasel drop a song every month. That's what uh, the, 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 the public demands you to be dropping a song each and every time. So that's the back way to But you, Osaze, Osura, Kamu Kamu. Yeah, but I've been like this for quite some time. But you know, this is a pace. Mm. This is like a marathon which never ends. Mm. You gotta keep your pace. Mm. If their pace is one song a month, that's, that's them. Well, that's what they, they can afford. Jamal has a different system. For me, if it's one song, mm. either a year or half a year, or mm. whatever. That's my pace. But the only thing is just, we all have a, a kind of a, a different an audience what people really get yeah. from us or what they expect from us. Right. For me, my work, I tend to spend more time because I know when I bring it, it would 
Chivachi in there. Mostly. Right? And uh, the last question, you had this uh, song uh, where you had Swahili lines. Yeah. And I remember when you were being interviewed by Douglas, you said it was one of your marketing strategies to evade the Swahili speaking nations. How mm -hmm. has that worked out? So oh, well, it's quite pretty good actually. My song is playing in, in Kenya and in Tanzania. I've, I've, I've got a couple of calls. I've got guys from Gambia that want to do some collabs. It's quite amazing. Yeah. It's not about feeling good, but it's, it's a good positive energy that I, I've got from out of that song. And uh, I'm, I'm actually having other like three or two songs I'm doing in Swahili. Yeah. I have one called already Malaika. Yeah. I shot this, uh, the video from uh, uh, Sweden. It's in a Swahili song. It's, it's amazing. And my stuff are really moving pretty cool. The way I expected, the way I feel like they could go like it. It's quite amazing.